Wow, it's been a while. Uh, but spring is here and I'm in the greenhouse. I got a lot going on in here. Uh, mostly figs. I'm preparing for a plant sale where I'll be offering up some of these figs. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool because this is the first time I'm participating in a plant sale from the other side of the table, if you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, some of these some of these guys are looking really good, like this Campaniere fig right here. Um, huge leaves. And uh, I know a lot of you have been asking about the Euclid fig, which was my number one fig for last year. People, you know, I, I sold cuttings through my website and they sold out really fast. I didn't have a lot. I only had maybe 20 of them or so. And I got some emails. I apologize if I haven't responded to you. Uh, but I don't have any cuttings. Um, I do have a handful of, of trees. Unfortunately, the mother tree was chopped down, which is uh, which was a tragedy. But thank the Lord, I got in there and am reproducing it here. And people have already been growing them around the country. So that's awesome. Um, but... Uh, you know, I should have some more cuttings next year, but, um, you know, keep an eye out for that. We're just getting started here. It's uh, May 2nd today. And, um, yeah, we got some uh, bell peppers, patch of bell peppers over here. We got our garlic, which I think we can harvest pretty soon. Um, tons of plants, man. We have a ton of strawberries everywhere. Check this out. So we're walking into the pawpaw patch. Have about, you know, 15 or so pawpaw trees. This is one that has a, ooh, it smells like yeast over here. That pawpaw flower, very, very unique. I actually like the smell of it, believe it or not. Uh, a bunch of young pawpaws. This is a black cherry tree that's just bursting, bursting with flowers bees all flying around everywhere um you know we got some oxalis that comes in here i like these my wife likes these kids like these they have a nice little sour taste but don't eat too many of them you know there is some toxicity in them that you don't want to be eating an entire patch of it but you might find some joy in a little nibble here and there strawberries starting to turn red These smaller ones are wild strawberries. I didn't even plant those, but I did plant these over here as a ground cover slash food source. There's a beautiful looking pawpaw tree right there. Got some more interesting shade plants over here. Oh, there's some fungi, mushrooms growing on. A whole bunch of this black cherry tree just drops its seeds. So I have, you know, a ton of these uh, cherry children trying to come up in this world. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is maypop, which is, a uh, it's a plant that you see often in this area where we live in the Appalachia, uh, produces a fruit, but, um, you know, I just saw this at a plant sale one time and hopefully this will like start a colony. Um, got some poison ivy over here. We got some, um, some ginger plants, um, you know, pawpaws got a bunch of grafted pawpaws some of them i'm like I, is it gonna make it or not i'm not sure but you know just gonna be patient with these youngsters um solomon seal which i planted hoping this kind of forms a little colony we got some wild uh not wild ginger um ooh, what's it called uh mioga ginger that i got from uh edible acres uh you know sean and his family over there on YouTube. Shout outs to them. And then you know, it's a hot day today. Well, relatively hot. Comfrey is really starting to wake up, starting to flower. They like to use this as a chop and drop nitrogen source. Just chop that up, put it near the base of the trees and stuff. Um, wild bergamot blowing up, getting big. This has a really nice fragrance to it. Beautiful flowers will be coming soon. 
and be will be very attractive to the pollinators a couple cherry trees here that are putting on a lot of vegetation i haven't seen flowers on these yet not sure what's happening there but um shout outs to them we got four peach trees okay one two three four this is the biggest one the healthiest looking one this one is getting uh you know really bad really bad curl all the peach tree growers probably know what i'm what we're what we're dealing with here some type of fungus i think i'm not sure what's going on but uh this happened last year as well um there are fruits on it but i wish i knew how to help this guy if you if you have any tips for the peach leaf curl epidemic uh let me know but yeah this was this actually is looking like a really good year for peaches because we didn't have a a frost that destroyed all the flowers so there's quite a quite a bit of fruit growing on these trees i'm definitely gonna have to thin these out there's a fuzzy little guy right there i love peaches and yeah i'm mixing some like quote perennial plants and stuff just like you know this is our we're entering the third season and i'm like a, a newbie gardener so i just i planted a lot of stuff and um persimmon asian persimmon uh, american persimmon hybrid this little path was an experiment that i kind of regret but it's just a bunch of white clover down there um it's gonna be a walking path amongst all the wood chips uh but we'll see um this is a gumi gumi berry we have a handful of these around the yard perimeters of the fence are mostly bushes shrubs most of the edible things sorry about this blurriness jeez uh, blueberry, gumi, very beautiful plant that was here in our yard before we moved in. Uh, it's called Sweet William, fragrant. Blueberry, this is Nanking cherry with some fruits on it. Another blueberry, another Nanking cherry. These need uh, a um, mate, so I want to plant more than one of them blueberries this is a variety of honeyberry or hascap these were the first uh berries to ripen and they're looking amazing man i am super proud of these guys very tolerant as far as soil quality uh it's insanely cold hardy the fruits i don't know if i'm just so impatient enough that i don't i can't wait till they're fully ripe but they're kind of tart small blueberries let me see if i can find one Oh, here's a little cluster over here. There we go. So this is a hash cap. Nutrient rich berries right there. I'm gonna try one actually. Asian pears. Blowing in the wind, looking beautiful. There's another Asian pear, European pear. This apple tree I'm a little concerned with hasn't even started leafing out yet, but being patient there. Um, another pear, another pear. Blueberries, aronia, chokeberry. Um, back here we have a uh, jujube tree and two figs that are growing as shrubs. Total dieback in the winter, but starting to come up again. Surrounded by a bunch of comfrey. Call that the comfrey patch over there. We got some uh, currants and some josta berries and some more gumi berries down there. Um, we got some, you know, just some like native pollinating plants, things like... Um, Salvia. This guy right here just starting to flower. 
beautiful color. I, and then, you know, smaller gumi berry here. Um, this is a fig tree that hasn't woken up yet. That's uh, San, San Miguel Roxo. Um, dwarf apple tree right there. Uh, try to get, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to focus now on like native, native perennial plants that are very tolerant and don't need much care. Put about five mulberries, grafted mulberries in um, this early spring. So these are, is Illinois ever bearing, um, but these are just starting to leaf out some mint down there. Um, here's the, here's one of the Euclid figs. This one was planted last summer and has a lot of growth. I protected it over the winter, which you may have seen that video. Um, it hasn't woken up yet. And I may have damaged it by the way I protected it in the winter with a carpet. Like there's some damage at the base. Uh, this start this started a crack right here, so I put some some glue, some wood glue actually in that crack. And you know, these branches don't look super lively. But um, I've just learned to be a little patient and see what happens. I think what's most likely going to happen is we're going to get some some new starts coming out from the roots here. Uh, so we'll see. This is a beautiful Wygala flowering shrub. Um, also in the same family of plants as uh, the Hascap, interestingly enough. Um, yeah, so this is like our, our fruit tree orchard food forest area. So pretty, pretty exciting times here at Govinda's garden. And I'm really just enjoying, um, learning more about plants and uh, getting getting more experience and just like observing things a little bit closer closer Now we're starting to see butterflies and moths and insects and stuff So just kind of learning about the ecology learning about the earth is uh, you know what I plan on doing for the rest of my life and um, Gardening for me is very therapeutic. It's like the best part of my day coming out here in the morning when it's quiet and it's cool and just walking around the yard and seeing what has changed from the day before because they grow up so fast um anyways hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time